Hello and welcome to Drama Recaps. Today we explore the 2014 biographical romance drama, The Theory of Everything. Spoilers ahead. Our journey commences with a young Stephen Hawking energetically pedaling his bike through the quaint streets of Cambridge, accompanied by his good friend and roomie, Brian. Stephen, a brilliant astrophysics student, gets romantically involved with literature enthusiast, Jane Wilde. Stephen, however, is a declared atheist, which contrasts starkly with Jane's religious beliefs. Conversations brimming with wit and passion ensue, with Jane offering her contact details to Stephen. The academic campus is Stephen's playground, where he partakes in an array of activities, including his beloved rowing and cricket. He loves unwinding at a local bar with his mates, which is where he bumps into Jane and requests her company for a Sunday outing. Jane, however, reserves her Sundays for church obligations. While Stephen is exceptionally proficient in the disciplines of math and physics, his peers and mentors express worry over his non-existent thesis topic. When confronted by his professor, he admits to his indecision, hinting at a revelation in the near future. Meanwhile, the bond between Stephen and Jane grows deeper, with the couple sharing numerous memorable moments. Stephen even brings Jane home for a family dinner. Jane is introduced to Stephen's family, including his father Frank Hawking, who inquires about her field of study. Jane reveals her fascination for French and Spanish languages. Their relationship blooms further as Stephen whisks Jane off to a dance party. They get immersed in the moment, dancing under the dazzling display of fireworks and a sky strewn with stars. Stephen, his mentor Dennis, and fellow students embark on a trip to London to attend a lecture centered around black holes. Stephen seems slightly out of sorts, his gait limping. Nonetheless, his enthusiasm for the topic remains undeterred. It is this lecture that inspires Stephen's speculation about black holes being integral to the universe's inception, thus cementing his decision to delve into this subject for his thesis. As Stephen progressed with his research, he began noticing alarming muscle malfunctions which led to a devastating fall and a blow to his head. This was the grim onset of motor neuron disease that Stephen was diagnosed with, a condition which would slowly rob him of his mobility and vital functions such as swallowing and breathing. His prognosis was heartbreakingly short, approximately two years. Although his cognitive abilities would remain untouched, he was warned that eventually, communication would become impossible. In response to his deteriorating health, Stephen retreated into a shell, growing moody and introverted. Nevertheless, he strived to stay focused on his work. Jane, his steadfast partner, offered unwavering support and companionship during these challenging times. Despite the pain of seeing Stephen's condition worsen, Jane remained optimistic, trying to lift his spirits through activities like cricket, a sport Stephen was fond of. Even though Stephen suggested Jane move on without him, Jane's affection was unwavering. She declared her unwavering love for him to his father, expressing her commitment to stay with Stephen regardless of his illness. The couple solidified their bond in matrimony, welcoming their first child, Robert, even as Stephen's health continued to deteriorate to the point where he could no longer walk and had to crawl. Despite his affliction, Stephen successfully presented his groundbreaking thesis to the board of examiners, proposing the idea that black holes played a crucial role in the formation of the universe through the Big Bang Theory, resulting in the phenomenon known as the Big Crunch. As Stephen celebrated this significant milestone, his health posed increasing challenges, to the point where he had to transition to using a wheelchair. Following the birth of their second child, Lucy, Jane committed herself tirelessly to caring for Stephen and their children. Stephen's work on the theory of black holes catapulted him to global fame, despite facing criticism and derision from some quarters during his presentations. Nevertheless, he remained undeterred, gaining significant praise and recognition. His first published book, Hawking Radiation, was met with considerable acclaim. Meanwhile, amidst caring for their growing children and managing Stephen's health and burgeoning fame, Jane struggled to complete her own thesis, leading to feelings of frustration. To alleviate Jane's distress, Stephen reassures her that they are a normal family, and in an effort to reset, they decide to go on a vacation. However, during a meal, Stephen chokes, alarming Jane, who suggests seeking medical assistance. However, Stephen refuses, leaving Jane feeling both distressed and helpless. 
Seeking a respite from her frustrations, Jane, following her mother's suggestion, joins the church choir. There she meets Jonathan, a widower, who quickly becomes a close friend and even offers to give piano lessons to their son. Jonathan easily integrates into their family, providing unwavering support for the ailing Stephen and providing a comforting presence for Jane and the children. During a leisurely chat in the park, Jonathan reveals that he was married, but tragically lost his wife to leukemia a year ago. As time passes, Jonathan's bond with the family strengthens, his unwavering assistance and kindness evident during their beach vacation where he helps Stephen experience the sensation of sand and takes on other caregiving tasks. Amidst this growing closeness, Jane and Jonathan start developing feelings for each other. However, when Jane gives birth to their third child, Timothy, Stephen's mother grows suspicious of Jane's relationship with Jonathan. Jane vehemently denies the insinuation and insists that Timothy is Stephen's child. Jonathan overhears this conversation, leaving both him and Jane startled. Seizing a moment of solitude, they confess their mutual love and care for each other. Jonathan, uncomfortable with the complex situation, distances himself from Stephen's family. However, Stephen, sensing the situation, assures Jonathan that Jane needs him. Stephen receives an invitation to an opera performance in Bordeaux and decides to go with his students, leaving Jane and Jonathan to take the children on a camping trip. As they spend more time together, Jane and Jonathan's love continues to blossom. However, their tranquility is shattered when Stephen falls gravely ill during the opera performance and is immediately rushed to the hospital. During Stephen's hospitalization, doctors inform Jane that Stephen has contracted pneumonia and needs a tracheostomy to aid his breathing and survival. The trade-off is that Stephen would lose his ability to speak. Concerned for her husband's health, Jane consents to the operation. To assist with Stephen's care post-surgery, Jane hires Elaine Mason. She also presents Stephen with a technologically advanced wheelchair equipped with a speech-generating device. On his recovery, Stephen shares news with Jane about an award he's been invited to receive in the United States and expresses his intention to take Elaine along. It becomes apparent to Jane that her marriage with Stephen is faltering. In a tearful conversation, she asserts that she's done her best for him. Eventually, they decide to part ways. Stephen and Elaine attend the awards ceremony together and fall in love, while Jane reunites with Jonathan. Stephen's second book, A Brief History of Time, is published and quickly becomes a timeless bestseller, further escalating his fame and popularity. During one of his inspiring lectures, a student drops a pen, and Stephen imagines himself getting up to pick it up. This poignant moment brings tears to his eyes as he reflects on the severe impact his illness has had on his life. Continuing his speech, Stephen says, there should be no limit to human endeavor. We are all different. No matter how bad life is, there will always be something you can do and succeed at. Where there is life, there is hope. The audience responds with enthusiastic applause. Stephen invites Jane to accompany him when he is honored as a member of the Order of the Companions of Honor by Queen Elizabeth II. They spend a joyful day with their children, during which Stephen remarks, look what we've made. The film concludes with several extended scenes shown in reverse, such as Stephen's first meeting with Jane.